Okay, so if you have any issues or anything going on and you need to stick with the basics, stick with the basic. If you want to build it, we'll build it and we'll just go through. Um, anything? Are you maybe props or just props as needed, huh? You are welcome to use props, Jennifer. I don't have any to use, but <laughs> go with what you want to go. Okay, so everyone just get on your mat and we'll start lying down. Can y'all hear me okay? Yes. Okay. All right. So we're just going to start on our mat. I'll do it with you, but don't, don't, um, I haven't moved in a while. So we'll see how this all goes for everybody. I want you to just lie on the mat. And I want you, everyone, just because I know you need this, let's just take a nice deep breath. And I want you to feel whatever's connected to your mat and where it is. From your feet to your head, palms, fingers, everything. Just take a deep breath, as deep as you possibly can, and let all that air out. And then all I want you to do is just curl your head and shoulders up and look toward your feet. And then take your arms and just reach your arms for your feet. And again, see what you feel on your mat and reach your legs so much that maybe, maybe they unweight, maybe they don't. And then just roll all the way back down and take another deep breath. And then do that again, just curl your head and shoulders up, look towards your feet, reaching your feet, and then just see if you can stay there and maybe breathe a little bit. And just inhale and exhale, see how everything feels. And then all the way back down. All right, we're gonna go into the 100. So I want you to take the legs wherever you need them to be today. They can stay on the ground, they can go up, whatever you need. Reach your arms and just really lengthen your arms, reach your legs long. Curl the head and shoulders up again and then reach those legs away. Take them wherever you need them to be today and then start those arms pumping as you inhale and exhale. Keep breathing, inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale, keep lengthening the legs. Inhale, exhale, you're halfway there. Inhale, exhale, keep curling. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. You got two more, inhale, exhale, lengthen the legs, last breath, make it count. Exhale, all that air out. Now reach the legs away, reach the arms behind, give it one long stretch. And then go ahead, if you have a strap on your mat, use it, if not, don't worry about it. I'll let you do what you wanna do, but we're gonna do some roll-ups. So go ahead, lie down, reach the legs, reach your arms, and everyone's just gonna do their roll-up today. So just reach your arms towards the sky, let the head come up, let the shoulders reaching your arms, and your legs really think about a nice spine stretch as you reach your back towards the wall behind you and then just rolling all the way back down and i want you to focus on because it's really important right now for us to breathe i want you to breathe through the entire roll up so at any point if you find yourself holding your breath try to make that breath continue and reach the arms, reach the legs. Just find a pace that works for you. And really breathe. Focusing the, all the while on the legs reaching, the arms reaching, that nice opposition. And let's just two more, because I don't know about you, but this feels awesome. And then rolling back up. And again, just doing what you can do. Even if it's just a half roll up, whatever happens today happens. And then rolling all the way back up. And we're gonna take it all the way down. And if you have a strap, kick it off. If not, don't worry about it. Arms at your sides. We're gonna go into a rollover. If that is contraindicated for you today, then just do the leg circle part. But think about your legs, reach them away, pressing your arms into the mat. If you're going for it, take those hips up, lift the legs behind you, reaching, opening those legs, circling them around. And just do two more. Find a pace that works for you. And feel the back of your head on the mat. And make sure whatever is connected there stays. 
the arms keep reaching. When you've done those three, let's reverse it. So open those legs, reaching back. Pay attention to your arms. Are they both reaching? And are those wrists staying nice and long? In the back of the head. Oh my goodness, was that two or three? I'm like, this is two one more because I can't count apparently. And then bring it all the way down, reaching your legs. And again, if you have a strap, you can use it, but we're gonna go into our one leg circle. We're just moving along. Let's go ahead and take the um, left leg up towards the sky. And just hold it here for a moment because I know we're probably discovering a lot of things about our body today. Keep the arms pressing in. Keep the leg on the mat really reaching like you're standing on the floor. And I want you to just take that top leg, lift your hip up, let that hip take the leg across your body and just see where you can go keeping that same side of shoulder down on the mat. And then just bring it back to the center and just reach it across, just breathing through and bring it back to the center. And now let's take that and make it into our circle. So reach it across, circling around back to the top. And just breathe through again and pay attention to the leg that's on your mat. It's like you're standing on the floor. Do two more here. Keep both arms pressing in the mat back of the head. And again, find a pace. If I'm counting different than you, just go with your flow. Reversing your direction again. Let that hip lift and pulling it back. Inhale and exhale. Y'all look really good. I can see legs flying around. One more, because again, can't count today. And then go ahead, let's switch legs. So we have two, so we gotta do them both. Take that leg up. And again, pay attention to that standing leg. Really keep it reaching. And let's just do that again. Just take the leg across and back to the center. And as we know, this leg might be different, different rotation through the hip. And then let's go for that circle. Just reach that leg, circle, and back to the top. Breathing through, keep pressing and reaching your arms. Feel the back of the head on your mat. And just do one more in this direction. Awesome, and reverse it. Same thing, let that hip lift and bring it across. Find whatever rotation you can do in your body today here. And do two more here. Keep reaching that leg on the mat. Good, and then go ahead, bring that leg out. You can kick it off if you want. And let's go ahead. I want everyone to just, again, reach your arms back, reach your legs. And without even thinking about it, I want you to just roll up, pull your knees in, and let's all find our ball position today. And just hold it for a moment. See how it feels and really look inside your ball. Keep it as tight as you can for you today, and let's roll back. Just roll where you can. See if you can find that balance at the top. Whoa! And then go back again. And just kind of find what works for you in order to get back up, whatever you need to do, breathe through. And just try to keep it as tight as you can. Good, and just do one more here. And then hold that ball at the top. And let's go ahead, just grab your right leg. I don't care where you grab it. Pull it in, lengthen the left. Roll back to your shoulders. And I want you to really pull that leg in tight, like you're trying to pull that knee past your ear. Reach the other one and switch. We'll go right into that one leg stretch. And try to think you're at the bottom of your ball. Nice, Jen, that looks good. And just keep thinking, if I asked you to roll back up, you could and pulling and reaching. And see if both hips can stay nice and heavy into your mat evenly. And just breathe through. And do one more each leg. And then pull both knees in. If you need to take your head down and rest, you can. We're just gonna do the traditional versions. So just take both legs, double leg stretch, reach them out, take your palms and push into those legs like it's a magic circle. And then exhale, pull everything back into your ball. Inhale as you reach it away. And kind of challenge yourself. How low can you take those legs without teeter-tottering up? And pull it back in. Inhale as you reach. 
Exhale and pulling back in. That looks awesome. You got one more here. Good, and then bring it all the way down and reach your legs long. And go ahead, if you want, roll yourself up, however you wanna get there. And let's go into our spine stretch. So you're just gonna take your legs about hip width apart, maybe a little wider. And I want you to go ahead, let's do this first. Just place your hands on your mat. And I want you to think that you're trying to take your fingertips and push into the mat so hard to like lift yourself off your mat and reach your legs away. And then just release and let it go. And then take your fingertips, push them into the mat like you're trying to push and just lift yourself and your legs off your mat. And then let it go. And so that same feeling you just had of lifting up, let's take it into our spine stretch. So use your mat and push into it as you take your arms and legs, reaching them forward and taking our back towards the wall behind you. And then growing tall as we inhale back up. And then do that again, just exhale, pushing away. Feel like for those that love horseback, here's your horseback. And you're trying to actually physically take yourself off that mat. And do it two more times. Exhale and blow all that air out. And then inhale, growing tall. And then one more, really think about your legs. Don't forget them, reach them like they're trying to touch that wall in front of you. And then all the way back up. And this one should be interesting. Let's try to rock, how about it? You ready? So take your legs long, take your arms like however you need to, just roll back. You can bend your knees, you can keep them long. Find your rocker and let's just hold it for a moment. See if we can balance. I don't know about you guys, how my legs are shaking. So from here, find your rocker and let's see, can we get back here? Roll back and see if you can land one back. Find that balance, you got it. And then roll back, find the balance. I don't care what happens, however you need to get there, make it work for you. Good, and do two more if you can. Rolling back. And you might find your rocker, your view has changed, but that's okay. And then if you can, bring the legs down the way you went up, bring them together, and go ahead, we're gonna roll it all the way down for our corkscrew. So I'll give you options. If you wanna go into the shoulder bridge version and be up on those shoulders, go for it. It's your corkscrew today, or you can keep it down. Bring your legs up, and if you're going up and over, you can. And then we're just gonna roll it down, taking the legs, circling, and back. And if you're keeping it down, I'll do that for you too. We'll just take one leg and the other, and almost feel like you're, again, back to that one leg circle, so the leg is reaching by that hip, lifting off, and just find a pace that works for you in terms of keeping the shoulders pressing into the mat, arms reaching. And if you're going up into the shoulders, make sure that you go down evenly down the center. Let's just do one more each direction. Make sure you are even, because we're all at different paces here. And then bring both legs all the way down, nice and easy. And reach your arms back. We're gonna do another roll up, so make it count. Just curling up, enjoy the roll up. Reach up and over, get that nice stretch. And then sit up and we're going into our saw. So sit up tall. And the legs are back in our spine stretch position. Arms out. And let's just stay here for a moment. And I want you again to just think as if someone had their arms under your arms and you're pushing into their arms to grow tall and reach your legs even longer. And let's go ahead and just twist to your right. And I want you to just twist where you can, wherever that is. And then just reach forward with your front arm, back with your back arm, looking towards that back arm. And then coming back up, and again, grow tall. And then twist to the other side. Keep reaching the leg. So maybe the leg you're twisting towards, reach it a little bit more, because it's probably getting shorter than your other leg. And twisting again. So just find a pace that works for you. 
and reach and reach and back up tall and keep breathing going where you can go and maybe each little twist is getting further and further and reach and we'll do one more to this side good and bring it all the way back up and legs together okay we're getting into my favorite the swan i was being sarcastic by the way roll all the way down and let's flip over for our prone lift so this is what we're going to do today so i want you to think more length than height so just go ahead and place your forehead on your mat and i'm just going to talk about my forehead on the mat so you can hear me reach your arms like a capital t and at first, I want you to just feel where your hips are on the mat. And think about them the whole time, kind of pressing into the mat as we go into this. So your forehead is on the mat. Arms and legs are reaching long. I want you to reach your arms and legs so far that maybe they start to float up. Now let your head come up and start to look forward. Maybe the chest can come up. Keep looking forward and press your hips into the mat and then bring it all the way back down. And remember, we need to breathe. So again, inhale as you reach your arms and legs, head floats up, start looking forward. Maybe the chest comes up. Maybe you go up much further than me, but we'll just see where you go. And then all the way back down. And one more, just reaching. Think about your legs. Lengthen them, reach them behind you as you reach the arms, and then all the way back down. And then go ahead and just bring yourself up onto your forearms. And we'll go into our one leg kick. So have your elbows just slightly forward of you, and pull your chest through. And again, feel your hips pressing towards your mat. Squeeze your legs together, and let's go ahead. Take your right leg and just do your little kick, kick reaching away and just start your kicks and as you do this I want you to really feel both hips lengthening and extending forward and you're pulling your chest through your arms and just finding where you can be to feel that maybe as even as you can through the front staying stable and do one more so you're even and then go ahead, make sure you're even. Bring your forehead back to the mat. We're gonna go into our double leg kick. I want you to take both hands, clasp them behind you, glue your legs together, and let's find that connection again with our hips. Do your kick, kick. And then I want you to reach your arms, reach your legs, and again, let the head float up, let the chest float up, reach where you can, and then bring it all the way back down as you kick, kick and then lengthen and reach. Don't forget your breath. Exhale, coming down. Inhale, think about the arms, try to reach for your legs. Open up that chest. And we'll do one more. And reach. And then bring it all the way down. All right, bring yourself up. And I'm gonna make sure you can see me. You can see me, yes? Okay, we're gonna go into a thigh stretch. So just be where you're comfortable on your mat. Knees about hip width apart. If you have knee issues and you need some kind of opening for it, you can like put your feet together in a diamond shape. Or if you find that they start to cramp off, just dangle them off your mat. Let's reach the arms forward. Take a slight tilt of your pelvis forward. Slight, just kind of looking maybe towards your floor. And I want you to really sink both, both of your feet into that mat and you're just gonna inhale, hinging back where you feel that thigh stretch, wherever that is for you, and then all the way back up. And use your feet to kind of push yourself back up. Inhale as you go back and exhale forward. And you just got a slight curl at both ends of your spine. Inhale as you go back. Maybe even if visually you don't see that you're going back further, just imagine every time you're going back. Pretty soon you'll be in a full back bend. It's all good. One more. Inhaling and exhaling. Good. And then bring it all the way back up. I don't know about you, but I was tight. All right. Are we ready for neck pull? I know we are. 
being your favorite. <laughs> We're always ready for neck pull. If you have a strap, use it. If not, you can use your legs. You can pull yourself up, whatever you need to do. I want you really though to focus on really getting as much flexion and traction in the back to feel that lovely stretch. So let's go ahead and just start down on the mat. Take your hands behind your head. And the first thing I want you to do is just push your head into your hands, like really push into it. And I want you to feel that connection through your whole entire neck pull. Don't let the head get away from those hands. Think about a really low ceiling. And I want you to curl your head and shoulders up. And I want you to think that you're curling up like your roll up, but under a really low, low ceiling. So go under that low ceiling. Once you get to that neck pull part, take your head and just a gentle pull, pull. Now keep the head connected. Go under that low ceiling again and roll it back down. Feel that lovely traction all the way. If you need to bring your elbows forward, do it. If you need to grab your legs, do it. Exhale, try to keep your exhale all the way up. A little pull, pull, and then all the way down. Breathing through, make sure we're breathing. Really important, especially today. Curling up under that low ceiling. And this is the last one, you're just gonna go down. That's all you gotta do is on the ground, on your mat. Good. All right, we're gonna go into scissors and bicycle. So if you didn't lift your hips and you wanna keep it, then, then just keep it down here, you can do your moves. Otherwise, we're gonna bring it into our rollover. Take your hands and just place them like they're behind you in pocket jeans. Push your elbows into the mat, press your head, and let's just go lengthening the legs. And I want you to really focus more on the leg that's going away from you than the one that's coming towards you. Really reach it. Try to keep even weight in both hips but push into your elbows, keep those hips lifted, and then just start your pedaling of your bicycle. Again, reaching the legs away as best you can today, and then reversing. Keep pushing into those elbows. Keep trying to keep the hips lifted. And then bring the legs together, arms back to the mat, rolling it down and bringing your legs down. All right, so let's see how our shoulder bridge goes today. I'm gonna give you options and we can build it. You can stay with me because I'm not gonna go up into the scissors. I can already tell you that, but we'll give you options. You take it where you want. Hands at your side and have your feet as close as, as you can, as long as your knees are happy. Arms at your side. Let's just start with a simple bridge. I want you to just push into your feet, keep your arms long, and I want you to just lift the hips as high as you can. And once you're there, really push into the feet more. See if you can maybe go a little higher. And think of a nice chest expansion with your upper body. And then just roll it back down. Remember to breathe and start kind of paying attention. Keep going with it. Are both hips really lengthening and reaching together? Are your knees reaching for the wall in front of you? And are your arms continuing to really reach and press into the mat, opening up your chest? Now you can keep it here, or on the next one, if you can, we'll place our hands and cup them around your waist. And again, if you can, you'll just cup around your waist and we'll go into the scissor kicks. So if you can, go ahead, lengthen your leg, and we'll do that kick. But as you can see, I'm not high enough. But if you can, or you can keep your arms at your side if you prefer, or just keep your rolling in your little shoulder bridge here like me, pressing up. If you're doing the kicks, do five on each side. And then breathing through, and keep breathing. And let's just do two more, and if you're doing kicks, finish your kicks. Keep reaching and pressing into your arms. And last one, if we're just on the bridge. And then bringing it down. And then go ahead and lengthen your legs. And reach your arms behind. And let's just roll all the way up. 
Enjoy your roll up, reach it forward. Good. Everyone's there. Let's go ahead, it's time for spine twist. So reach your legs long again, but this time they're together like we were in saw, but together, and arms out to your side. And again, I want you to think each time we come back to the center, you're gonna grow even taller. And let's twist to the left this time, mix it up. Twist as far as you can, maybe twist a little further, but grow taller. And then back to the center and breathe through, inhaling, just breathing. See where you can go and pay attention so you don't start to slump. Keep growing tall as you twist. Find what works for you. Each time you twist, see, twist. See if you can go further and then back grow really tall. Inhale, good. And each little pulse that you do, taller, taller. And back to the center, good. And let's just do one more so that we're even to the right and then back to the center. And we're gonna roll all the way down for jackknife. If you are not comfortable with jackknife, do what you can do, just with the lift of your hips. We're only gonna do three, arms at your side. Think about the hundreds of what we did earlier. Reach your legs away, go into that rollover, and then just take those legs up where you can. Keep reaching the legs as you push into those arms. Keeping the back of the head on that mat. Take the legs where you can with control. And then back up and over. Keep breathing through. And really feel again that chest expansion in your upper. Don't let it curl. Don't let the wrist get lost. You got one more. Your jackknife today. Good. And then bring it all the way down. All right. So I'm gonna make sure and face you guys. So we're gonna go into our side kicks. So just get on your side. And I want you to have both hands behind your head and take your legs just slightly forward of you. And think back to your neck pull when you were kind of pushing your head into your hands. I want you to keep that. Take your top leg right out from your hip. And I want you to really make it a big movement today as long as this leg doesn't get lost. Kick as far forward as you can and as far back as you can. Inhale and kind of use that upper as a, as a counterbalance. So pushing the head in, but really find as big a range as you can because we're going to go into our teaser. So we need to get the leg to come towards us. And press back, you already did all your extensions. So you kind of know your range. Good, and just breathe through, inhale, and really fire into that bottom leg, keep it reaching. And let's just do two more here, and breathe, and push. Feel it like you have those leg straps on the Cadillac on. And one more, good. And then bring both legs together, and you can turn over or just go to the other side. I'm just gonna make sure I don't turn my butt towards you. And then find your position. Legs just slightly forward. Remember, each side's different. Kick as far forward and as far back. Just breathe, breathe normal. See where, see where you go. And each side is different, but don't forget that bottom leg. Keep reaching it like it's pushing into a wall. It's like your standing leg all over again. Inhale. Good. We have visitors. And two more. One more. Good. And then bring both legs together. All right. I'm going to swivel, but everyone lie on your back. We're going into our lovely teaser. So again, go where you can go. A teaser, a teaser is a daily thing. We'll see where we go. But what I want you to think about We'll get there. I want you to kind of hold it at the top for a moment if you get there, when we get there. Just find your teaser today. Just roll up, take the legs, bring them with you. Hold there and see if you can think about trying to touch your legs. And as you go down, I want you to think about your legs reaching towards the wall in front of you as the arms reach to the ceiling and then behind. And do that again, inhaling, 
Exhaling, think about the legs coming towards the torso, 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 and then hold and try to reach further if you can. Roll back down, you'll be happy to know we only have one more teaser. And then curling up, whatever that teaser is, remember we're all different here. And then all the way back down. Awesome. All right, we're going into our hip twist. So you have options here. You can be on your elbows, you can be up on the arms, whatever works for you. If you have dowels, poles, whatever you want to use. But I want you to think the whole time of the chest being nice and open and legs up. So what I want you to think about as we do this is feel the weight in your elbows. As you take the legs to the right, push into that left elbow a little bit more. Circle and then push into that right elbow a little more. So alternating like our corkscrew, but think of that opposite side. We have a little less support here than our corkscrew, but think about that opposite elbow really pressing into the mat as you circle away from it. Nice. Keep reaching your legs. We don't have many more. We'll just do one more. Make sure you're even because again, I can't remember what side we started on. And then you'll bring the legs all the way down. Good. All right, Laura, you ready? Let's turn over for swimming. Woohoo! <laughs> Everyone loves swimming. All right, so again, let's build it. So if you don't want to go into the full thing, then just use the arm and the leg. So place your head down, arms and legs are reaching. And let's just start with that. Keep your hips pressing into your mat. Take your right arm and your left leg. And I want you to reach them away as far as you possibly can and then bring it back down. And then switch, other arm, other leg. And really one more time, think about your hips pressing into the mat evenly. Last one. All right, now you can keep it there or we'll go for it. Think again, reach your arms, reach your legs. Let the head float up, maybe the chest. Start your swimming. Keep the press of the hips. Keep reaching, reaching. And then bring it all the way down. Nice. All right, curl your toes under. Take your hands to the mat. However you need to do it, get into your push-up plank position. We're going into our leg pull. So just make sure that your shoulders are slightly behind your wrists and really press out of them and take both feet and flex your heels. So really push your heels away like you're on the reformer. And take your right leg and just lift and lower. Trying to keep everything where it is and reach the leg as far as you can without letting your hip kind of get lost. Good. Keep flexing. So keep reaching the leg that's on the mat. And do one more. And then, however you can, lower yourself back down. And we'll flip over. So again, you've got some options here. If you need to, you don't have to add the kicks into it. We'll just do the push of the hips up. Place your hands. You can have your fingertips facing away, towards you, whatever works for you. If you're on a raised, I would kind of have it towards the edge. So let's just do a little prep for it. So I want you to think your feet are against your wall and I want you to push your legs into the wall as you lift your hips up and push out of those arms, looking towards your feet and then bring it all the way back down. So we can keep it here if you want. You decide. And to do that again, just reach, push your legs away from you, not down, but away. And then down on the next one, we're gonna add three kicks on one leg. And then we'll do the other and we'll come back down or just keep it where you are. So press up, reach the legs away. Think about the left leg, keep it there. Take your right leg and just kick as high as you can, but keep pushing that left leg away and switch, keep pressing into your arms. Just doing those scissor kicks where you can, 
and then lowering back down. All right, fun times now, kneeling side kicks. On your knees. You guys were so close to being through the mat. All right, hands behind your head. Make sure you have room on each side. Let's go to the right first. So does everyone know that little song, I'm a little teapot? Over we go. <laughs> Press the head into your hands, reach your leg. Do the same side kick. Kick as far forward and as far back as you can. But I want you to think, because we're going for side bend today, think about really lifting out of the arm that's on the mat. Push into that leg that's on your mat and press in the head into your hands. Do two more. Good. One more. And then see if you can come up the same way you went down. And of course you have to do the other side. So over we go. So again, find your position, different side, kick forward and back. Inhale, nice, and exhale. Just breathe them through. Really, again, think about lifting out of that arm. Good, do three more. Kicking your range. Tighter side. One more. And then bring it all the way up. All right, it's boomerang time. I know we all love boomerang. So again, do what you can do. We're gonna do four, so we have an even cross. So let's start with the right leg over the left. Um, I'm just gonna do the traditional, but do your boomerang, whatever that is for you. Hands will be at your side. So remember our rollover and our jackknife, really connect your legs. Let's roll back. All it is is our rollover. Crisscross the legs. Come up into your teaser. See if you can hold it. And then control the legs down as you do your spine stretch. And then back up. And let's try that again. So it's just a combination of everything we've already done. Roll over into our teaser. Hold it for a moment. And spine stretch. And then we'll do two more. Y'all look really good. Nice, keep breathing through. Finding your teaser, seeing if you can hold it. You got one more. So that we're nice and even. Into our teaser. Whoa, I almost lost it. And down. All right, okay. So we're getting into some fun stuff, yes? Let's do our seal first. When we get to crab, we'll figure that out. So I don't care however you're comfortable holding, but I want you to really think about opening up the hips a bit and also finding that ball. And let's just see what happens. You're gonna do your three little kicks at the top, roll back, do them back, one, two, three, and then see, can you get back up? One, two, three, and do that again. Good, breathing through. I always like people get a little giggly on this one and reach. Nice. So we're preparing for crab. So we're opening up those hips. We got one more back. Good. Now, we're going to build the crab, but you can stop at any point. You don't have to do the full crab. If you are going with your head down, make sure you have some space so that you're not off your Cadillac or off onto the floor. <laughs> so go ahead, grab your feet kind of at your instep. And I want you to just think you're pulling those legs apart. And I really want you to think when we're back there that we're opening again from our hips. So let's just see, let's build it. So we're just gonna land back here again. So just go back, uncross your legs, cross them the other way, and just come back to your position we were in. And then do that again, just roll back, uncross, and up. And one more, just this way. And then you can either maintain this or continue on. But what I want you to picture is we're gonna go up and over into our crab. So think we're gonna take our ball all the way over with control. So go ahead back, uncross, recross. Think of your ball, lift up and over. Very carefully, the head comes down in a little pull. Now your ball goes up and over, crisscross. And again, really lift up, 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 and over, controlling. 
Always know where the end of your mat is here, guys. And then, again, because we tend to, we tend to move a bit. And let's do one more. Going where we can go. And then all the way back to your start there. All right. So now it's rocking. I can tell you right now, I'm not rocking today. <laughs> but I'm going to build it. And if you get there and you're in that position and you feel like, hey, I can do this, go for it. Otherwise, just stay where you are. But let's kind of build it today. So go ahead and lie on your stomach. Because I want you to really think about getting your extension instead of just kind of popping up. So go ahead, forehead on the mat, and just relax your arms at your sides. And what I want you to do is take your right hand and just grab your right foot and just hold it for a moment. And then what I want you to think about is that right arm. I want you to think that right arm is reaching away from you as your knee kind of comes up and away from you and that hip presses into the mat. And then bring that leg down, let it go, grab your left leg. And same thing, think about your arm reaching away, the knee reaching up and away, and your hip pressing into the mat. And then release it down. So you're more than welcome to stay there if you're super tight. If not, grab your right leg again, grab your left. And again, all I want you to do is reach your arms away. Think about the knees lifting up. Don't lift anything else yet. Push both hips down and then let it go. And just do that one more time. Reach your arms away, reach the knees away, push the hips into the mat and let it back down. Again, you can keep it there. Otherwise, we're going for our lift of the head. So again, think of the arms reaching away. Think of the head lifting up and looking forward. Push your hips in. Reach the legs away. Push the hips into the mat. And then bring it back down. And see where you are in space. Do it again. Inhaling as you come up. Reach the arms. Reach the legs. And on the next one, if you feel you're in that position to start that rocking, go for it. Just make it as organically as you can. Let the head, let the head and chest lift. If you can rock, rock. If not, just keep it where we're going. And for those just going with the up and down, one more. And those rocking, you're almost just like letting it just <laughs> relax and stop and down. <sighs> awesome. Okay, guys. So we're going to try control balance today. We're going to build it again so you can stop at any point that you want. Lie it down. We'll talk you through. So arms at your side. The first thing we're going to do is we're just going to go into our rollover and we're just going to hold it there. So just bring your legs up into your rollover. And really think about reaching your arms, reaching your legs, and just balance on your shoulders for a minute. If you're on your shoulders, not your neck. See if you can just take your left arm and reach it behind you without touching the floor. And then maybe see if you can do your right. And then what I want you to think about is really continuing to reach your legs behind you to stay on your shoulders. And then bring the left arm and the right arm back down and just roll down. So we're going to go into it. You can just keep it where you want to go, but I want you to remember that the leg that is going in this direction is continuing to reach as the other leg goes up and that's going to keep you from rolling back and away. So let's go for it. Roll over. <coughs> if you can, reach the arms behind. Let's go ahead and grab our right leg. Now, what I want you to think about is not so much pulling it down towards you, but pulling it behind you as you extend your other leg towards the ceiling. You are pushing the leg into the hands, but also pulling it. And then bringing that leg back down as you switch to the left. Each side is different. 
Keep pulling it towards the wall as you reach the other leg. Press into it to grow taller. And then bring both legs down with control. Arms at your side. We're only going to do that one time and roll it back down. And breathe. And reach your arms behind you. Reach your legs long. Really lengthen. Take a deep breath. And we're going to roll all the way up. Reaching forward. Y'all all know what's next, right? Push-ups. Are we ready? You made it. Go ahead, stand up. I'm sure my head will get cut off, but that's okay. Go to the end of your mat. Reach your arms for the sky. Really reach. And I want you to just roll down to where you can touch your mat. And walk yourself out to your push-up position. We're going to do three sets. You can do three to five. Keep reaching your legs behind you and just your push-ups, three to five. I want you to focus on pushing that mat away. And after you've done your three to five, walk it back the way you went down. And roll all the way up. Just remember you have three sets. So we may be at different little paces, that's okay. Roll back down, do your second set, whatever it is, walk it out. Find that position for you. Again, three to five. Pushing the floor away. And then of course you have one more set if you're doing three like me. <laughs> Roll back down. Once you're done with your three, we'll stand back up. And then walk and back. How are we doing? And then roll up, reach for the sky, and down. All right, go ahead and sit on your mat. Is everyone done? Are we good? So good.